Hey, what is going on guys? Hex Competitive back in today with a brand new video and as always down on Total Blue, but the we're talking about today and cheating craft is what we're talking about today. Another new fall anime. And this is a show where I read the summary, whenever you guys saw me read the summary, I was interested in it. I was kinda like I was truly thinking, I wonder if this is gonna be something really good. You know, because I'm really wondering where it's gonna go. I guess you could say this is is this kinda like Hunter X Hunter? I I've heard Hunter X Hunter had some kind of exams. I don't know what type of exams, but this one is takes place in a school and it doesn't look like it's gonna take place in a school setting though it looks as if once this once these kids take this exam they're gone so uh, this is basically the epilogue of the series so that's why it's 12 minutes and I was really actually worried about that at first but the man they see in the tower looking down upon the city is actually the kid who ended up cheating with his L-type friend. So I guess L-types and C-types partner up at times, which that's going to be our main two characters that are doing the same thing. They partner up. The C-type protects the L-type in order to get the answers from him. And at the same time, well, and protect him, obviously, because we saw what happens there. And a lot of people may be saying it's kind of like, I don't know, goofy how they did it, how they showed the test. But, I mean, at least they showed that because it's kind of like, how in the hell are they not getting caught? But... Yeah, I think I think they pulled off enough to say, hey, we're interested to see where the hell this is going, actually. And, uh, yeah, I think that kind of saved him right there. But we actually see them, that that character that uh, cheated in the past being, being in that big tower. It looks like he's the top of the city. You know, he's kind of like the number one guy now. He actually, like, we saw him cry at the end, so that's really interesting. Maybe he regrets what he did. Maybe it's because his friend died. He couldn't save him, I guess. I, I don't really know because we find out that no matter what, if, if like, chaos happens, they... You, they continue to take the test. Like, try to survive, finish the test, or whatever. Like, they're not leaving that room. Now, the next point here. The next point is that learning types are also L-types, and L-types are learning types. So, we have that. So, C-types are cheating. Cheaters. Cheaters, cheaters. Now, I'm not really sure how that works entirely. You cheat, yeah, so you're a cheating type. But what if we see a kid that cheat and say, I'll be back next year. So, if he even passes, is he, is he still a cheating type, or what is he? When you see that parents actually play a factor in this, parents actually will manipulate their children intentionally, and, or the children may be unwilling to want to do some kids, one kid's just like, let, just let me go to grad school, or cram school, and he's like, no, he, his dad, like, put something in his mouth that, yeah, I don't know, I guess they get corrupt, they have lens they can see answers through, they have answers on their, on their skin, and we saw one kid get his arm pulled off. So there's a bunch of unique ways of cheating. We see that the pins, the pins are their powers in this series. Pins are power and not just for the exam. So we actually find out this is a equal opportunity kind of city. And so far from what we see, we can definitely assume that from an exam. An exam predicts everything. It determines everything. It determines your worth even if you're going to be su you know, successful in life or a failure. And if you fail, failures. Obviously, if you pass, well successful and i just want to say our animation in this i really did like it I, I thought it looked damn good i thought the opening i really love the opening that opening is probably my favorite for the season maybe trickster but i don't know i really did like the opening i just yeah it was good i loved it i liked it i loved it a lot Mwah. fabulous though now let's start with the last thing so the two main characters we got our main plot so these two main characters are doing it actually for the heroine i guess you could say which we don't know she's technically a heroine yet, but they're doing it for her uh, imprisoned mother, who was uh, wrongly accused and being, you know, wrongly imprisoned too, so I don't wonder what she's accused for. Um, I mean, these tests are worth so much, right? They're, they mean so much, and you saw one kid cheated and he rose to the freaking top because of it, so what did she do that got her imprisoned, I wonder? Like, what, what makes you get thrown in prison? And we see some of our other main cast at the very end. Don't get to see him talk or anything, but we see them. And I'm pretty sure we didn't see all of them either. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure that covers everything. Yes, if I didn't cover, uh, they won't stop death. Like, they don't stop uh, if they get killed. I'm pretty sure they. Uh, I said that. But, like, yeah, it shows a meteor and stuff coming down. <laughs> and everyone dies, literally. But, yeah, he keeps doing the test and rests at the top. And we see him cry at the end. I just want to reiterate that real quick because I didn't know if I went over that already. But, as always, guys, you've been Hex. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Hex25. And let me know what you guys think down in the comments below of Cheating Craft.